How's it going YouTube? I'm Lana Production and let's talk about the news. First up we have 8 year old Scarlett Hinchcliffe who was just rushed to the hospital after a spider crawled out of her bite in her leg. I mean is this real life right now? This happened while she was taking a bath. Scarlett was bit by a spider after walking in the woods and she became ill with flu like symptoms. Orange and yellow poison then started oozing out of a small hole in her leg. When Scarlett was taken to the hospital she was giving antibiotics and now she's doing much better. I know if that was me I would be totally freaking out here and then I would have a huge fear of spiders next up we have 22 year old Marcus Hutchkins who has prevented a hundred thousand computers from being infected with the random virus we've all been talking about in the past few days I know I've been talking about it in my previous videos there has been a virus that has affected 150 countries with hundreds of thousands of people affected hackers gained access to people's computers and networks and demanded money in this like ransom thing so you have to pay money to gain access back to your computers and it was like hundreds of dollars that they were demanding well, Marcus was able to find a kill switch that stopped these hackers from getting into any more computers. Hacker One, which is a hacking group, rewards ethnical hackers for finding software flaws. So Marcus received $10,000 for his good deed for stopping this virus from affecting any more people. Marcus to many people is being called a hero, but he just said he's just doing his job. There was a story about him years ago when he was in school. Marcus was trying to stop another attack on the school servers that he found. Well, the school thought, you know, he was hacking into the school system because they saw him gain access to the network and he was able to shut it down. So he was suspended from school and he wasn't allowed to go on a computer that had internet access. Marcus then decided that he didn't want to continue with school because what's the point of you know going to school if you can't even use a computer? Well right now Marcus has been working with the government's National Cyber Security Center to prevent a new strain of the malicious software from emerging. So I guess who's laughing now? Marcus is being called the whiz kid. Okay so before we get on to more more news stories for you guys. I just want to say right over here, you guys can click the card on the side. We have done it 1,000 straight vlogs, 1,000 straight days without missing a vlog. We've been daily vlogging every single day, and I just want to say wow, thank you guys so much. We put up you know an extra special for you guys. It was like it was a long video. It was, a, it was over 30 minutes, I believe. It was it was a lot of amazing edits, amazing drone footage. If you guys want to check it out, check out the card right on the side. And if you guys don't see it, the link will be in the description below. Check it out support the vlog channel guys for over 1,000 straight days and uh yeah what is the next milestone is it is it 1500 2000 i don't know but whatever it is i think we're gonna do it now here's a video that's been going viral on youtube it's the number one trend right now it's on the front page of youtube the title of the video i'm talking about is i will never be as cool as my two-year-old nephew in a bounce house and it's just a kid with his hands in his pocket and he's just jumping up and down watch <laughs> Such a simple video, but it has been viewed more than 3 million times. Everyone in the comments are asking how long until this kid appears on Ellen. So I guess we're going to have to wait and see to see if he appears on Ellen DeGeneres. The final trailer for Planet of the Apes has just come out. And wow, it looks so good. But don't take my word for it. Here's the trailer. No mercy. No peace. You are impressive. You're smart as hell. You're stronger than we are. The movie comes out July 14th. I know I'm super excited for it. What about you guys? Are you looking forward to this movie? I love all the Planet of the Apes, especially the old one. The original movie was 1968. This is such a great idea for a film. McDonald's is in a bit of trouble right now. Maybe a lot, some would say. McDonald's had an advertising where a little boy was cheered up by a burger after he lost his father. McDonald's was accused of exploitation after this commercial aired last Friday. People are showing their concerns with this commercial. It's very similar to the whole Pepsi commercial where Pepsi claims, you know, no matter what, no matter how horrible the situation is, just drink a Pepsi. So if you're going to war and people are dying, well, everything's okay if you have a Pepsi. Well, now McDonald's are claiming that if someone dies in your family, you should go eat a burger because uh, that's the thing you should be doing. You should be paying, you know, giving your money to, to McDonald's and burgers will make everything right. I don't think this is the right business model, the right message. McDonald's quickly took down the ad and said it was never our intention to cause upset. So here's bits and pieces of the commercial. You can see this kid. He's really sad. He's on his bed. He's reflecting memories of his father. Then he asked his mom, you know, what was dad like? Did he have blue eyes like me? No. Brown. I think so. 
What was your dad's favourite, too? Tartar sauce. Well down his chin. I will make sure to put the link of the full 90 second ad in the description below. You guys can watch the whole thing. Any of the stories I'm talking about today, I'll link down there below. And tell me what you guys thought of this commercial. Moving on, there was a new study that came out that revealed that we are very addicted to our phones, especially me. And in this research, people in Europe ages 11 to 15 years old are like the most addicted. Take a look at this chart right here on top of the chart for people who use their phones for more than two hours a day on top of the list of Scotland with 79.9% and that's on the girl side and then we have Denmark with 86% that's so close to 100% of the people in that age group and this is on the boys side the World Health Organizations are very concerned about obesity in young people due to cell phones and other technology that we've become addicted to we're not exercising enough there was another study showing that only 20% of boys in the UK exercise for at least one hour a day and only 12% of female teenagers do in the UK these are some crazy stats I'm not sure how accurate they are but let me know how how many hours do you guys think you spend on your phone? Try to be honest. And what exactly do you do on your phone? And I know what some of you guys are gonna say. Oh my god, Lenny, you know what we do on our phone? We watch a ton of porno. Okay, maybe a little bit too much information, but share the clean stuff you guys do on your phone. Also in the news is Ian Brady, who has spent the last 51 years behind bars for murder. Well, Ian has just passed away, and there was an article about him in the news revealing that it cost taxpayers 10 million British pounds to pay for his prison stay in psychiatric unit build. So it's so crazy to think that, you know, people's hard earned monies, our hard earned money is just going to people who commit horrible crimes who end up in prison. And a lot of these people are like, they're, they're murderers, they're rapists. Ian Brady actually just missed the death penalty because it was abolished just months before he was handed his life sentence. So he wasn't sent to the electric chair. Instead, he was handed three life sentences. Well, there you guys have it. That's all the news stories I have for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next video.